Our tester, Reiner, is a motorcycle enthusiast, and a one-liter engine is as low as he'll go. He likes to ride in both the city and the countryside. He's never driven an electric scooter and is a bit reluctant to compare, having always looked down on things like this. But now he's curious to see if he can really keep up with his bike. Reiner says starting up takes a little time, but then you press the button and off you go. The C Evolution is the first electric scooter from BMW, and despite running on batteries, it's no weakling. We can give it to a biker like Reiner in good conscience. The e-scooter can zip from 0 to 50 kilometers per hour in 2.7 seconds, and from 0 to 100 in 6.2. BMW Stefan Schaller says the bike fills a new niche. The company doesn't expect it to be a volume seller right away, but it's an innovative way to meet the needs of certain customers. To make the vision of a zero-emission scooter a reality, a lot of technology had to fit into a small space. All the electrical parts are contained in this tough metal box that also serves as the scooter's frame. Stefan Schaller says that riders won't notice any difference in normal city traffic except for the lack of noise and emissions. Thanks to the battery box, the center of gravity is very low. That results in excellent road handling, making it very maneuverable. The low battery box makes these improvements possible. Scooters are very popular in Barcelona. The police also use them. They quickly noticed our new electric scooter and wanted to find out more about it from Reiner. He told them, for example, that the scooter has an electronic speed limiter that only kicks in at 120 kilometers per hour. The Sea Evolution has no trouble zooming along Barcelona's streets, and that's even though it has a rated output of just 11 kilowatts. Due to its high torque of 72 newton meters, the electric scooter leaves most of its gasoline-powered brethren far behind at the traffic light. The batteries use the same technology that BMW employs in its small electric car, the i3. In the C-Evolution, BMW uses three high-voltage lithium-ion modules, also found in the i3. These have been configured so that they fit in the battery housing, which also acts as a structural chassis element that can carry the weight of the scooter. The C-Evolution's striking lime green color makes it stand out. The scooter weighs around 265 kilograms and features a reversing aid that makes it easy to maneuver. The C Evolution is BMW's first electric maxi scooter. A full charge takes around four hours and allows for a range of around 100 kilometers. The man from BMW says the overall market for motorcycles has been contracting slightly for the last six years, so the company must keep dreaming up things to attract new clients. With the Sea Evolution, they feel they'll be able to attract not only tradition motorbike riders, but also customers who currently don't use motorcycles or other gas-powered vehicles, but who like the fact that it has zero emissions. He's certain the e-scooter will appeal to car drivers and new customers who've never had anything to do with motorbikes. So what's our tester's verdict? Could the Sea Evolution convince Reiner the motorcycle rider. He says he can tell from the smile on his face that the scooter's pretty good. Reiner doesn't want to exaggerate, but says he was always the first to pull away at every traffic light. The scooter accelerates well and impressed him in the city. Reiner says his bike's still faster, but not at traffic lights. He feels the scooter's ideal for the city and is great on curves, just like a motorbike. The only thing he doesn't like is the 15,000 euro price tag. 
and that the scooter must be recharged after 100 kilometers, though you can charge it overnight. He says he'd buy the Sea Evolution for the city and use his motorbike the rest of the time.